generating document templates is a common requirement for most solutions that your business needs, whether it's a purchase order, whether it's a contract, a report, you need to be able to create a, a document out of a template and fill it with the dynamic data that you have in your own system. Well, with Power Platform, we have different ways of doing that. And normally you've seen the way of Power Automate, creating a Word document with a Power Automate flow. That's what you will see in YouTube most probably, but there's a different way where you don't have to create any Power Automate flow and anyone can do it. It's just configuration with a Word document template with and the out of the box feature that it's available in any Dataverse entity. So let's check how that works. So first, let's see the differences in a real application. This is a, an application used to create invoices. So we have things like the, uh, the client we're invoicing to, the currency, uh, the different invoice details, the different charges inside the invoice, etc. And we're going to see the difference: Power Automate versus out of the box feature in Dataverse. So how is that implemented in, with Power Automate in this context? Well, I have this custom button generate PDF here. And when you click that, uh, and this is a custom page, which is a mobile a pop-up implemented with a Canvas app integrated in this more driven app. And you will generate, if you click into this button over here, you will generate a PDF that looks exactly like that. This is the actual PDF. And you'll see, well, different, um, right as well, this is in Spanish, the Spanish version from the other video, but uh, well, you get idea, this is static data, this is information from the client, this is information about the invoice, the invoice number, the dates, and this is the um, the detailed summary, and here are, we have the different charges, right? The uh, description, amount, uh, discount, total, etc. So for the poor automated version, what we have is that we have to implement a custom button over here. We have to implement this custom page. We have to implement a button that triggers a Power Automate flow that fills that information into a Power Auto, uh, and Word document, and that in turn is converted into a PDF and then um, archived into SharePoint. Now, compare that with the out of the box feature. Any any table you'll see that you have in these buttons, these Word templates button if you go to any other template this is a different template uh, any other um what's it called it any other record you click here this is our bats you have these buttons and one of those is exactly that word templates now if we go back to the invoice here and click you'll see that i have configured this word document and i just need to click Boom, export the word, it's done. And if I click, you'll see, well, it's been, it's a different template and it's been um, filled with this uh, information from the record that we are seeing in the screen, on the screen. Now let's see how the word template is populated with Power Automate. And I won't get into this video into the nitty gritty details. If you want to see a step-by-step -step how-to video, let me know in the comments and we can prepare, consider preparing a, a video with the specifics of how to develop this scenario. Now, this is the Word, uh, generate Word template power, uh, power Automate flow. And if we go to one of these executions, you'll see what kind of data we need to create. So uh, these, this uh, flow, you'll see that there's a bunch of things because we are generating this schema dynamically. Uh, let me show you. If we go ah, here, this is the record. So this is the invoice, right, that we were looking at before. You, if you notice here, invoice word template, we can select different templates. Imagine that's a contract. You have the uh, version one, version two in Spanish, in English, whatever. It's, or invoices, you may have different invoice versions be, be, depending on maybe the account. Uh, sorry, the, the, the bank account you are uh, getting the payment into. What is the reason you may want to have different templates? Now, in this case, uh, if we take a look, I'm going to show you what kind of information you are populating into this Word document. And if you take notice here in this dynamic schema, this is what you input into the Word action in with a Word connector. And these are, you see, the different mm, data, the clients, 
this is the client's um, address, the invoice number. And of course, if you took, <laughs> take a look at these numbers, you don't have a clue, right? But if, but if you check, this is exactly what's inside. And this is the Word template that I'm storing in SharePoint. So if I download the template and open it, this is it. And we, how, how can we configure this kind of template? So let me zoom in a little bit. Basically, uh, we are creating these placeholders, right? You see these placeholders where you are going to input the information. And this information, uh, this, uh, how can you create this placeholder? As you go here to the developer tab in Word document, click, and you see that there are these connectors, these placeholders, let's say, let's call them. And if we click here, uh, plain text content control. Yeah, okay, content control is the name. So we click here, and this would be, for example, let's put uh, the uh, invoice, invoice payment terms. Imagine that we have that as a column inside our uh, record in Dataverse. Here, you click into the properties, in, and this is the name, payment terms, that you would see in Power Automate. Uh, but then this is translated into this um, string of numbers internally in Word. And that's why you need to take into account the dynamic schema, these internal numbers. Okay, so this is how it's done with Power Automate. Let's recap. So for Power Automate, we have to create a Word document using that method. Then in Power Automate, create the steps of retrieving the data from data runs and populating uh, using this con this step here, populate Word document uh, Word doc uh, document template, and then after that you need to well create the Word, uh, transform it to PDF, etc. Now let's see how this is configured using Dataverse, the out of the box feature. And to be fair, we are only going to compare the creation of the Word document because if we wanted to create a PDF out of the Word document using the Dataverse functionality, we would still need to use a Power Automate flow to make that transformation from Word to PDF, but well, that's that's the least of your problems because the more tedious thing and the, the, the most difficult thing to manage between environments is the Word template itself, not changing to uh, from Word document to PDF. That's a piece of cake. Now, how does that work? Well, we see that this is the out of the box feature that any record, any record in that words has. So we can create this for any record, no matter what. And you'll see that this is the the template that it's already created. And what we can do is create a new, you see here, create a new Word template. Now, Word templates can be created by an admin, let's say someone with admin roles creates a template and then publishes it so that any user of any app can use it for that particular record. Or you can create your own personal um, Word templates and think of it like if you use SharePoint lists, for example, you can create different views or in that words, you can create different views and views can be personal that only you see or maybe created by the administrator, then it's available for anybody. So let's see how this works. We create here uh, in order to create a Word template, we have to download it and then upload it after filling it. So if we download the template, very easy dialogue here. It's asking, okay, what's the base entity? The entity meaning the table. And in this case, is if the outgoing invoice, this is the record. Then we need to say, okay, what relationships, relationships we want to have available when we build this Word template. Relationships, well, maybe this is what you're looking for here. Our relationships a relationship is the invoice details for so for one invoice we have many invoice details and that would be under uh, one to one relationship so here we would select the details so here we see all the different ones and we only want the details invoice detail great okay now any other relationships that we may have well here they built two so this is the account so an account a client can have many invoices, right? So, or we rather we invoice one, um, we have one invoice related to a specific client. So that's where we would click here, a relationship with account. Okay, that done, we select, and then just click download. And download successfully, okay, but where is it? Ah, oh, no, okay, here. If we click into the 
Word document generated, it's completely empty. But if we enable editing, we'll see some magic here. So again, in the developer tab, just as the other method this is the same, what we have in a, a, as different is, let's say, for example, that we want here the, uh, the invoice data. OK, we instead of putting here the text control as we did before, what we do is click into this XML pane. OK, and you would use this. Maybe you are already familiar if you wanted to use some um, metadata like the author, the date, the version. This is these are things and actually from SharePoint as well that you have available here to put automatically when building templates. And then uh, and you see these are the different uh, here. These are the different um, schemas are, let's say, the despairing of information for the template. And the one we are looking for is, whoops, wait a second. I misclicked there. Now, this one over here, you see, boom, here, the invoice one. Because this is what is configured, if we click here. When we did that, when we did this dialog here, over here, download template, and we configured this, whatever it is, uh, where we put there, <clears throat> we configured this um, X schema so that we can put here any column from the table. And here would be the um, relationships. And it's very easy here. Let's say that we were looking for the invoice date. Let's here, invoice date. What we would do is just right click invoice date. Wow, well, I lost it here. Invoice date, insert control. And I recommend you only use plain text. Boom, here, already configured. If we click here into properties, we don't need to put anything. It's already there. Everything is there. Now, this uh, Word template, I'll show you how, it's, uh, how it looks like when it's finished. Uh, this one is created by administrator, by me. And you will find it if you go to the admin center here into document templates. You go to this one, double, double click, and this is the one that's created available for everyone. And here you can click download and you will download the template. And if I open that Word document, this is how it looks like. Okay, so we have here the different placeholders for all the stuff that we want to map from the recording database. Where is it? Here, from the recording database to the Word document. And then we, we don't need to configure anything. It's just that Word document. We upload it here or in the admin center if it's for everyone. And that's it. We don't need to create any Power Tool flow whatsoever. So to summarize, we saw how to build Word templates using Power Automate, the regular stuff that you will see around YouTube versus the, let's say, the other way that comes from Dynamics just with Dataverse, the order the box feature. And you don't have, if you go to the latter path, you don't have to <clears throat> build any Power Automate flow. It's just configuration. That probably is your preferred option when creating document templates because it's also easier to manage, especially when you have different environments. Dev test broad, when you are developing in dev environment and the place to test environment and then to production environment where your actual users are using the application. If you want to manage that using a Word document template generated with Power Automate, then you have to handle the drive IDs and the dynamic schema and it's uh, quite more cumbersome than just using the out of the box feature that comes with Dataverse. So that's another reason to consume those premium licenses. And in that, in this context, either way, you would need a premium license for the Word a connector. So that's that. I hope you uh, well you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.